Hey everybody, today we are going to take a quick tour of the Pirates of the Caribbean playset in Disney Infinity. Before we begin, there are a couple of things you should know. First of all, make sure your Disney Infinity base is plugged in and you have set the power disc that came with your Disney Infinity starter pack in the hexagon shaped pad. In order to jump into the Pirates of the Caribbean playset, you have to use one of the Pirates of the Caribbean characters. Since Captain Jack Sparrow came with your starter pack, that's who we will use today. Place Captain Jack Sparrow on the circle-shaped pad on the left side of the Disney Infinity base. Now, we are ready to get started. When the playset begins, you are in a dinghy. Simply follow the green arrows until you are told to dock. It should be noted that there is a cannon on the front. To aim, simply press your left stick to point the cannon at your target. If you are using the PS3, press R2 to fire. If you are using the Xbox 360, press the right trigger. This will come in handy later in the playset. Once you are docked, you are automatically given a main mission by Pintel and Rigetti. Don't feel rushed. This is not a timed mission. Take a few moments to explore. You will come across boxes, barrels, and treasure chests. Be sure to use your attack button to break them for the rewards. You can expect to find sparks to help you level up and coins which will be useful for purchasing toys later on. You will also find several red capsules. One of the side missions later on will require you to pick these up, so no harm in getting a head start right now. This playset is the only one where we are given a weapon we can fire from the beginning. The flintlock pistol is fired by pressing the R2 for the PS3 or the right trigger for the Xbox 360. You can fire without aiming, but this is not suggested. Be sure to press L2 or left trigger to aim. It should be mentioned that as your target gets closer, the flintlock will automatically lock on, so be patient and you will be rewarded. The combat in this playset is no more or less intense than any of the other playsets, but we do have an advantage of two weapons right from the get-go. We have already covered how to use your flintlock pistol. Now let's look at the attack button. For PS3 users, the attack button is triangle, and if you are using the Xbox 360, it is the Y button. When you press the attack button, Captain Jack Sparrow will use his sword to fight off enemies. If you find yourself facing more than one, try using your flintlock pistol to shoot one, and then quickly attack the other with your sword. Keep in mind, if you get into too much trouble, press the circle button, or B, to block. Another unique aspect of this playset is the locked doors. You can open them by aiming your flintlock pistol at them and firing. Once the door is open, you will find a chest. Attack or shoot it and claim your treasure. As with the other playsets, this one comes with a challenge which can be completed with the default character. Move your character into the yellow beacon to attempt a Buccaneer Bay Ballyhoo. I found this was one of the easier challenges to complete. If you want to beat it on the hard difficulty, here's a tip. Try gathering all the collectibles on the rooftop first since they are the hardest to get. There you have it. That should help you get comfortable with the Pirates of the Caribbean playset. For a complete guide to Disney Infinity, be sure to check out www.primagames.com where you can find both the Disney Infinity official game guide and the official e-guide. Let us know in the comments below. What is your favorite part of the Pirates of the Caribbean playset? Have fun, everybody!